Okay, next up is a question from Chip. He says, my current job makes 50K and my side hustle makes 40K Mm. in less than half the hours. So he's wanting to make it his full time. He's wondering, do you have any general investment advice for entrepreneurs? Because I'm guessing he's a financial mutant and was thinking about what this is going to look like if he does take this full time. Um, investment advice for entrepreneurs. I, I don't know that I have so much investment advice, but there are two things that I think would be valuable for you to speak to, Brian, that just immediately hit me in chip situation. Uh, number one is a realistic expectation. If I make $40,000 a year working half the time, is this side hustle, uh, is it linear exponential progression? Meaning, if I work full time, does 40K turn into 80K? Is that realistic? That's kind of the first thing I would think through. So there's probably some 3D planning in there that I, mm-hmm. I think it'd be cool for you to speak to. Uh, and then the other thing I would say, and this is not so much investing advice, Chip, this is just more like entrepreneur advice. Cash is your friend. If you are making the thought around, I'm going to leave the guaranteed income. I'm going to leave that salary. I'm going to focus solely on my side hustle. You probably want to make sure that you have enough cash built up to get through the third D that Brian's going to tell you about. Yeah, I, I'm going to do the, two of these are related to each other. Cash and the 3D planning are important because, you know, depending upon when we say 3D planning, we're talking about, mm-hmm. you know, I want you to do your dream plan. This is, oh my goodness, I'm going to be so rich. This is awesome. I want your down to earth plan, which is what you think will actually happen. And I want you to have your doo-doo plan. And I, and I hate to say it like that, but this is the plan where, oh my goodness, how was I so silly to, to, to think that I could make a living doing this and have enough cash to bridge it. I mean, my own experience share was is that it took me three years to replace my W-2 income. And um, so I had to have a, a cash bridge to get me over that. And then also something that came up when we were having a conversation, even in our show prep, um, Daniel or somebody showed me somebody had started a, a new business or something and they were charging an hourly rate. And I was like, yeah, but the problem is, and this is what you were alluding to, what's the scalability That's of right. that? Because just because you make 40000 on a side hustle, if you had to actually turn that into a full-time job, could it actually scale to the side size where not only does it replace your day job, but it actually gives you a career mm-hmm. for the future? Because if the, the top end of this is 40000 to eighty, but you're stuck at eighty for the next six years, whereas your day job could have turned into 120 to 150,000. You need to, that's why the 3D plan comes into play because it's not just this moment in time, it's also the long-term future. Mm -hmm. So you can figure out if there's an intersection or even a separation point. Um, Because I think a lot of people will look at just the money and time in the moment and not think about, is this actually a viable business that can get beyond? Because we we saw a research study that 95% um, I, you know, I can't remember where we saw, it, but it's like 95% of small businesses don't reach a million dollars of revenue. Yep. Um, and then I think about when I see stuff about financial planning and other things on on the internet, I'm like, yeah, but if people saw how much we spend on seven figures mm-hmm. towards all of our software, mm-hmm. the, the the all the employees, what that cost? I mean, the scalability of business is something you need to pay attention to because you want to make sure that you get the separation point and not that you just replace your day job with something that now you're kind of working 60 hours, but you never can get to that 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 scale that lets you live the fulfilled life. I love entrepreneurship. Look, I, I've done it you know, several different ways, but the goal of entrepreneurship is that you have such a passion that it, the why takes you past the all the crud of being of the doo-doo part of the, the 3D plan. Yeah, make sure that uh, the, you want the side hustle to be your full-time gig because trading – Something is a side gig versus trading as a full-time gig is different. So if it is something you're passionate about and you love, will that be tainted if it becomes something that you have to do full-time in order to put food on the table? So uh, there's nothing wrong with doing this, Chip, and it sounds super exciting. Just make sure you go into it with eyes wide open. You know exactly what you are getting into and you prepare yourself well for that.